Welcome to St. Anne Lenten Reflection Podcast. Throughout this Lenten season, we will be praying in the form of Lexio Divina. We will be reading from the daily gospel reading and hearing a reflection from a parishioner at St. Anne. After the gospel is read, there will be a brief moment to reflect on how the Lord is speaking to you through the scripture. Today's reflection will be given by Glenda Fernandez. Let us now prepare our hearts as we listen to the word of God. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. Today's Gospel reading is from John 5, verses 1 to 16. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool, called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. Jesus asks, Do you want to be well? Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. A convoluted answer to a loaded question. Was Jesus just asking the man if he wanted to be healthy versus remaining sick? And why did the man not just reply, yes? The man had been ill for 38 years, and in all that time nobody had helped him into the pool at Bethesda. There is great significance in this, because the culture in Israel at the time of Jesus, and still to this day, is one that reveres its elders. We suppose, because of the length of his illness, that this man would have been older than many of the others at the pool. A certain aspect of respect would have been afforded those older, and they would have been carried to the pool before the younger ones. So why had no one helped this man? It is thought that a very sinful life would lose the respect of others, and therefore it is presumed that this man was or had been sinful to the point that no one cared what happened to him. Did he realize 
that bemoaning the fact that no one would help him revealed the truth of his sinfulness to Jesus. In any event, this wasn't news to Jesus. Jesus knew the length of the man's illness before the conversation ever started. What about me? Are there things in my life that I complain about to Jesus? What isn't fair? How I got the short end of the stick? Why things would have worked out differently if I had had more time or better opportunities? Or how many times my predicament was actually someone else's fault? Yes, maybe I am in a tough place that will not be healed overnight with a mere dip in some pool. But can I be honest with myself and vulnerable with Jesus? Can I look at myself with a critical eye and admit to the sin in my life that may be keeping me mired in my self-pity, that may be keeping me lying in a portico instead of bathing in the pool of forgiveness. Can I truly repent, let go, turn away from those sinful things? Some stick like burrs and are hard and painful to remove, and some are like an old smelly shirt that I keep picking up and putting back on because it is familiar and I'm comfortable wearing it. Do you want to be well? Do I want to, Jesus? Why, why do I hesitate? I think I'm afraid of the unknown, afraid of being exposed and found wanting, afraid of rejection, of failure. Can I truly live without all the familiar yet sinful things that I hold on to? a bad temper, a critical spirit, a judgmental tongue, juicy gossip, and so many more. I am so used to my sin. I am very good at handing out my self-righteous opinion of anyone and anything, and it is such a familiar habit to be irritated with other drivers on the road. And what about my weekly gossip-swapping conversations? I often want to lie back down in the portico of my sin just once more. It's easier than taking a stand for righteousness. Really, what will I wear if I throw out this old, smelly, familiar shirt? Do I want to be well, Jesus? Change is not easy. I will not have excuses to fall back on. I won't be able to lie around in the portico anymore. Yes, yes, Jesus, I do want to be well. I long for your healing touch. I want to be free from the sin that binds me, from those bad habits that seem to trip me up day after day. I want to meet you in the temple, in your Father's house. And when we do meet... You say to me, look, you are well. Do not sin any more. You, Jesus, remind me that I am free. You wash away my doubts, my fears, that I will go back to the way I was. You wash away my doubts and fears, that I will go back to the way I was. You clothe me in a clean new shirt of grace and mercy. You fill me with your love that overflows into the places where sin once resided, and I feel my heart changing, responding with joy and gratitude. I am well. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your eternal grace, love, and mercy. Amen. We hope you enjoyed the Lenten Reflection Podcast. The St. Anne vision is to bring people to Jesus, form disciples, and send them to transform the world. 
share this episode, and invite someone to join you on the journey to Easter. To learn more about St. Anne, go to St. Anne Parish.